MTIA and DOD teamed up to create this video series to explain the telecommunications technologies that impact the 5G challenge. This video compares traditional 5G system architecture with 5G networks built using Open Radio Access Network architecture, usually called OpenRAN. OpenRAN architectures can also be used for earlier generations of wireless networks, such as 4G LTE. We highlight the differences between traditional and OpenRAN architecture for 5G and trade-offs that operators must consider. Originally, cellular networks relied on specialized hardware. Open 5G networks move most functionality to software that runs on white box hardware, commercial, off-the-shelf computers that can be easily upgraded or replaced. There are two main benefits of separating the hardware and software. First, it allows more competition in building the hardware and software, which drives down costs. Second, open interfaces allow various vendor components to interoperate. This is similar to how keyboards, monitors, and mice can connect to any computer regardless of operating system. This is the basic 5G network architecture that is defined by 3GPP and is being deployed by mobile network operators known as MNOs. This architecture lends itself to being proprietary and monolithic. The architecture is focused on providing end-to-end -end service from a local, regional, and nationwide perspective to millions of customers. These networks follow the 3GPP 5G standard. However, each MNO tends to buy a single vendor's equipment for large markets. This equipment is unlikely to be interoperable with another vendor's equipment. This end-to-end -end focus and single vendor solution raise significant barriers to new entrants. In contrast, OpenRAN refers to several efforts to move away from closed and proprietary solutions by offering open, modular, interoperable, multi-vendor solutions. OpenRAN seeks to separate the hardware and software within the RAN segment of the network and to create open interfaces between these segments. The Open RAN community is also splitting 5G into modular components and defining standard interfaces between them. The ORAN Alliance is one of these Open RAN efforts. The ORAN Alliance envisions new, specialized offerings at the user edge of the network, like warning unmanned aerial vehicles about nearby obstacles. The 5G architecture and standards are well established and adopted by industry. In contrast, Many of the OpenRAN interfaces are not fully specified or widely adopted by the industry. Operator interest in OpenRAN is growing. The 5G challenge will include interfaces from both 3GPP and ORAN Alliance to accelerate the adoption of 5G open interfaces, interoperable components, and multi-vendor solutions by fostering a large, vibrant, and growing vendor community dedicated to advancing 5G interoperability towards true plug-and-play operation.